hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so in the previous tutorial i showed you how you can create the date picker for this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how you can create this time picker you're seeing here it's going to be very very simple very very simple that's that's it using the materialize framework css framework so let me refresh this and we remain with nothing so we are going to be starting from scratch and as I told you in the previous tutorial, I showed you how you can bring in these, these CDNs. And still, I will leave the link in the description below where you're going to be getting all these links. So, your job is just to follow step by step. So, what you're going to do, as I did in the previous tutorial, we shall first create out some simple layout. So, this div is going to be having a class of container. Uh, to make this first i have just going to do like this so this div is going to be having a class of row so i have some extension called emit i just type and i press tab and everything will be set up so i create a div with a class of call another, another class of s12 and m3 tab so these are three classes in one div what you are going to do is copy this div because I want my work to be centered. It's like bootstrap. It's grid systems out of 12. Right now you are saying 3 plus 3 plus this 6. It will be 12. So that means our work is going to be centered. We are having some balancing div this side with the columns 3. And this side with those columns 3. And in the middle we are taking 12. So... As it will be like a form, we shall put some form tag here. And inside this form, we are going to put some div with a class of input dash field next tab, and that's the field we are having. And we are going to be creating an input here. Place tab you can leave it a text so we are going to give it a class of time picker so basically that's what we have yeah so let's put some heading here above the form so h3 i'm going to call it time picker save that give it in the browser good now we want to put some label when somebody focuses in that field so below the input we are going to create a label label for time so let's give this one an id of time so we are saying when you click on this label it is for this input field and we are going to set we are going to write some label like set time Let's preview it in the browser. So we are, when we focus our cursor there, you see, it gets that little animation. Very, very simple. Now what we want to do, when we focus our cursor here, we want that time picker to pop up. And when we are using this framework, materialize, we first initialize those, those JavaScript widgets. And below here, let me first get rid of this more space. Now, right now, we are just having the input field with a class of time picker. So, below here, we create our custom script. If it was something like productive, we put it in a separate file. But for this case, I just want it to be very simple and easy for you guys to understand. Now, we have created our custom. So, we are going to create a variable. I'm going to call it timer. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to call it timer and I say assign it to document not query selector so when I'm about the syntax and what what we want to select it's this input field with a class of timer this one so we said dot timer so the class name is time picker so right now here now we start initializing it with materialize we say m dot 
time picker so this one is in upper case follow step by step we say dot init we initialize it so we call this variable we created of timer here so we say timer comma then we open it's going to be an object with options inside it but for this case you can stop here if you don't want to go further and customize this timer so basically that will do the magic when we refresh and focus our cursor here you see we shall get this simple date picker you can set the minutes either it's am or pm and press ok and you get the default timer time like this very very simple now i want to show you how you can go ahead and customize all this and what this timer has it has the international international standardization so something like international standards you can change it in your language so whatever users you'll be targeting so let's say you're in india stuff like that and i'm going to be showing you how you can customize so inside this object i'm going to drop down so we are inside this object and we are going to set different types of options the first one as you can see there is no clear button in this timer so you can say show clear button and we set it to true save that and preview it in the browser right now when you focus you see now we have the clear button like we did in the previous tutorial very very simple again i'm just repeating myself we have the international standards we say i 8n this one is going to be an object so we can go ahead and customize these words let's say you are an indian and you want to put them in indian russian stuff like that so for clear we shall target clear the key value is clear and it's a string so we can say like remove when we refresh this page and preview again clear will become remove and it will be in uppercase and these ones will turn into undefined so you also have to define them so cancel that's the key value name and you can say no so i'm just you can put it in your language stuff like that when we preview in the browser see now cancel will become no for ok let's say ok the key value name is done so we say yes preview it in the browser and focus again stuff like that so you can go ahead and customize this stem picker in your own language you want very very simple thanks for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next tutorials peace